in these problems, we are given an order, and in this order we want to compare that to what's recommended on a label, and we want to determine whether or not a dosage or an order is safe. Now, I want to use that word safe loosely. Again, I'm not the one in the doctor's shoes to tell you it's safe. Go ahead and do it. But what we're going to do is determine whether it's unusual given the information that we have. And whenever in doubt, always check with the prescriber of the order to check if you calculate something and something looks strange. So what we have here is we are told a doctor orders 200 milligrams of this medication, Recephin, to be given to a 7 kilogram infant every 8 hours. The medication label reads 75 to 150 milligrams per kilogram per day. Is this doctor's order within the desired range? Now, the big idea that I want you to take from medication <coughs> calculations by weight is that of the information that you're typically given needs to be customized. And what I mean by customized is this 75 to 150, this range is for any patient. And what it depends on is the amount of kilograms your patient weighs. So what I would suggest to do is to take this range, and this is for anybody, and customize it for our patient. How do we do that? We look at the patient's weight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the 75 to 150 milligrams per kilogram per day, and I want to get rid of the per kilogram. So what I can do is I can write the 75, this is milligrams, and I'm going to write kilograms per day. I'm going to write all that in the denominator. And what I want to do is I want to eliminate kilograms using dimensional analysis. So I know in order to el eliminate kilograms, I can multiply by kilograms. And my patient weighs 7 kilograms. So just looking at this and doing this calculation, if I were to multiply by 7, the kilograms would cancel, and I would have the total number of milligrams a 7-kilogram patient, or infant in this case, can have. And what we get is 525. What units are left? Milligrams per day. Milligrams per day. And I can do the same thing with the maximum, 150 milligrams per kilogram per day. And I can customize this. Whoops, let's change this to day. I can customize this by multiplying by the 7 kilograms. And what I see is that if I were to multiply, the kilograms will cancel. And when I multiply that, I get 1,050 milligrams per day. <clears throat> Excuse me. So for a patient weighing 7 kilograms, the recommended range is between 525 milligrams per day and 1,050 milligrams per day. Now, if you look at this and say, well, I'm giving 200. 200 is well below the minimum. So that should be okay, right? Well, you got to be careful here because this says 200 milligrams. This isn't the number of milligrams per day. This is the number of milligrams that this patient is receiving per dose. How many times are you giving that 200 milligrams? It says in this example that we are giving this amount of medication every 8 hours. So my point is... You can't compare this range with what the number in our order because they are different units. The range is in number of milligrams per day. The order is the number of milligrams per dose. So the second part, use the every eight hours to determine the total dosage per day. So what I mean is that if my patient is receiving 200 milligrams in one dose, I already have the milligrams. What I want is I want to know the number of milligrams per day. So how can I cancel out dose? Well, I can multiply by the total number of doses. And I know if it's every 8 hours, this is 24 hours divided by 8. That means there are 3 doses. So there are 3 doses in one day. Notice, if I were to multiply by the total number of doses, doses would cancel. 200 times 3, this is 600 milligrams per day. This is the order. This is what we would be giving if we follow through with the order. This is what is recommended 
according to the, the label. What we find is our order falls within the recommended range. Therefore, we would say that's okay and it would be safe. Now, let me just summarize one more time what we did. In many of these problems, the information that you're giving or given on the label, many of those problems, they will have information on them that are not specific to your patient. So what we need to do is to get rid of that per kilogram. When you have the per kilogram, that those numbers are able to be customized for any patient, depending on that patient's size. So we got rid of that per kilogram by multiplying by the patient's weight. So we took the range, we customized it for our patient, and then we made sure that the order, which was given in 200 milligrams per dose, we need to make sure to change that to per day so we can compare that with the, the order, or excuse me, compare that with what's recommended. The last thing I'll mention is that many people will take this range, 525 milligrams per day, 1,050 milligrams per day, and they're going to take the day, and they'll divide that by three, into three equal doses. It doesn't matter if you take the range and make it look like the number of milligrams per dose, or if you take what was given to you and change that to be milligrams per day. The point is getting the units to be exactly the same so you can compare them. Let's do one more example. In this next example, we're going to follow a similar procedure where we take a dosage problem, we make sure that what's recommended matches in terms of the units, matches with the units of our order, and then we make a conclusion based on that information. We're told that this patient needs to have the gentamicin, can't really say those, but 50 milligrams every 8 hours, and this child weighs 40 pounds. The recommended dosage for a child is 6 to 7.5 milligrams per kilogram per day, and this is divided every 8 hours. Notice, 7.5, 6 to 7.5. This is given, this recommended dosage, is for any patient. And it's for any patient because it says per kilogram. So what we need to do is to take this range, and we need to customize it for our patient. If this is the recommended for anybody, how many milligrams per day should my patient be receiving? And what we need to do in order to cancel that out is to figure out how many kilograms our patient weighs. Well, it looks like the patient weighs 40 pounds, and remember we can just take the 40 pounds, we can divide it by 2.2, and we will get the number of kilograms, and when we do this, let's round to the tenths place. So we'll have approximately 18.2 kilograms. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that range of 6 milligrams per kilogram per day, and I'm going to get rid of the per, or get rid of the uh, kilograms. And I'm going to do that by multiplying by my patient's weight. Using just regular dimensional analysis, we see the kilograms will cancel. And what I will have is 6 times 18.2. I will have 109.2. 109.2. So that's nice because... This is, and let's think about the number of the units here. We still have milligrams, and we still have per day. So this is the minimum amount of milligrams per day. And I say minimum, but that is the lower end of our range. That would be appropriate for a child weighing 40 pounds. All right, 18.2 kilograms or 40 pounds. Let's do the same thing with the upper bound. Whoops, it should be 7.5, not 7. So 7.5 milligrams per kilogram per day, and I'm going to get rid of the per kilogram by multiplying by our patient's weight, which is 18.2 kilograms. The kilograms will cancel using dimensional analysis there. So if we take 7.5 and we multiply that by 18.2, we get 136.5. And again, the unit is the number of milligrams per day. We are told that a patient, and we just calculated the number of milligrams per day a patient weighing 40 pounds should receive should be between 109.2 and 136.5. Now what I'm going to do 
is look at what's ordered and determine whether or not that falls within that range. Well, what's ordered is 50 milligrams um, via IV piggyback every eight hours. So this is 50 milligrams per dose. But we need to think about how many doses, how many doses is our patient or how many times will our patient be receiving this if we're giving it every eight hours. So what I'm going to do is I'll take the 24 hours in a day and I'm going to divide it by eight. And I will have three. So my patient will be receiving this three times. So I'll take my 18, or excuse me, my 50 milligrams. If they're receiving 50 milligrams in one dose, and I want to know, and I know they're, they're taking three doses throughout the day, so there are three doses in one day, then if I just do some basic dimensional analysis here, the doses will cancel. I'll have milligrams per day. So this will be 150 milligrams per day. This is, if we follow through with our order, if we follow through with our order, this is how many milligrams per day our patient will be receiving. If we take the what's on the label or what's recommended and we look at what's recommended for a patient weighing 40 pounds, this is how many milligrams, between 109.2 and 136.5. So is this safe? All I'm going to say, I'm not going to say whether or not it's safe or not. We can't say whether or not it would it'd hurt the patient. But should we check with the prescriber? The answer is yes. Since 150 milligrams, if we follow through with the order, the patient will be receiving more milligrams per day than what is recommended. So we should check with the prescriber.